Well, if you're going to be too proud, then... <sighs> oh, face it, Megan. He's out of your life. Charlotte. Long time no see, Jake. You haven't changed one bit. What the hell are you doing here? Now, is that any way to talk to your wife? Ex-wife, Charlotte. Operative oh, word, ex. Picky, picky. You don't have to be such a grouch. Not when you look so cute in those shorts. Not when I've traveled so far just to see you. Now, aren't you going to ask me in? No. Jake! Jake! Jake, open this door and let me in. Do you hear me? I know he broke something. He pushed me and he broke my leg. No, well, you're lucky that it wasn't your neck. So why don't you get up off the floor before the bad acting police show up and bust oh, you, stop Dorian? stop it. Can't you see my mother's hurt? Yeah, the only thing that's hurt is her pride. I forced her to print a retraction. Forced me? He knocked me down. Bo, how could you? I did not touch her. Bo, oh, don't you listen to him, Kathy. My ankle is throbbing and I just may be hobbling around for the rest of my life on a cane. No, no, no. Your broomstick will do just fine, Bo, Dorian. Bo, stop it. All right. All right, maybe, maybe she fell. Maybe she just threw herself on the ground. Excuse me, but all I know is what that I did not push her. What do you think you're doing? If you're going to be crippled for the rest of your life, maybe we ought to give you a little emergency treatment, Dorian. Oh, oh, oh all easy. Right, all uh, right. you, she's in pain. Uh, oh, look at this. Look at this thing. There's nothing wrong with her. Look. Oh, yeah, since when? Look, I just want to give you your wedding gift. Will you just open the door and let me in? No, I shut up and go away before you wake the neighbors up. I will not go away until I personally deliver a gift to my ex-husband. The least you can do is accept it. All right, all right, all right. Before I get arrested for disturbing the peace. Thank you very much. The thoughts I have is now... Boy, much... oh boy. What kind of a host are you? Listen, I don't feel like being very entertaining tonight. Jake, you're always entertaining. That's one of the things I love about you. No, don't come in. So this is your new place. Hmm. I bet Megan loves it. It's uh, very primitive. And the bed in the middle of the living room? Yeah, well, we're... Uh... Redecorating the bedroom upstairs and listen, you said you came to give me a gift. Why don't I accept it graciously? And then you just go away. Frankly, now that I've taken a look at your place, I'm not really sure that it's suitable. Jake, just think of what you could have had with me. What? Lies, tricks, manipulation, huh? The best part, your father, the king of crime. I realize you weren't particularly fond of my father. Well, that's an understatement, Charlotte. But what about you and me? For a while there, we really had something. Don't you remember the good times? No, I don't. Come on, Jake, it wasn't all bad. I mean, there were plenty of times I remember I could tell you were falling for me. You just needed a little nudge in the right direction. Only in your dreams, Charlotte. You are. You always have been. When I heard that you and Megan were getting engaged, it was like a part of me died. One look up close, and you can see how broken-hearted I am. No, oh, thanks. I can see your crocodile tears from here. You know, it wasn't all an act with me. Oh, no, no, no. Just the part about you being blind, that's all. Otherwise, you were honest and upfront with me about everything. You know, I hate myself for having lied to you. I only did it because, because I... Because your daddy wanted you to. No. I, I lied about my blindness because I loved you so much. Oh, you don't love really, me. Really, Jake? I thought that... I thought that if I could keep you close to me for just a little bit longer, I thought maybe... You learned to love me the way I loved you. Charlotte, you never loved me. I was just merely your new newest possession, that's all. Hey, look. 
I don't want to get into this again. Good. I came here to apologize. Fine. Apology accepted. Now, please, go back to Swift. I also... There's probably a ski instructor waiting for you someplace. I wanted to apologize to Megan, too. Where is she, anyway? She's not here. It's my house. She's not here. Oh. Come on. Don't try to tell me you're so old-fashioned that you and Megan aren't living together. Well, I really don't have the time or energy for this Perfume tonight. Perfume bottle. The pantyhose. I knew you weren't that old-fashioned. In fact, you are so new-fashioned that you have let your fiancé go out on the town all by herself. How very civilized of you. And how very lucky for me. Now, all we need is a little gin and a vermouth. It'll be just like old times. Brute. Mom, calm down. Don't worry, Dorian. I don't even want to touch you. If your ankle's broken, I think maybe we ought to call the hotel doctor. Oh, no, you don't, if you think I would accept any doctor that you might recommend. Mother, really? If you're in pain, Dorian, you believe me. I want to help you. If you're faking it, I swear I'm going straight to the banner and I'm going to make good on that threat. What threat? You want to tell her? I wouldn't dignify that with an answer. I didn't think so. I'm going to take out a full-page ad in the banner, and I swear I'm going to expose your mother for every dirty, rotten, filthy thing that she has ever done, Cass, and it's going to take a lot of ink. Wait a minute, Bobby. It's going to go I... something like this. Not only did she try to prolong the strike at the banner, but while my brother, me. Clint's fighting for his life, she decides to go after Asa. Just missed him with a bullet. Oh, oh, you hear that? Now he's accusing me of being a hitman. No, no, worse than that, you're an opportunist. I'm not going to be nice. Cassie, your mother's got a personal vendetta against my family. It's going to stop tonight. Oh, please. Did I shove her down on the ground? No. Did I break her ankle? No. Cassie, listen to me. I'm sorry. I know that she's still your mother, and this has got to be hard for you. Oh, don't you dare belittle oh, me by shut calling her up, sympathy. Dorian! Look, I just, I don't want to put you in the middle on this thing. All right? I don't want you to choose sides. I just really need... For you to believe me. I would never hurt your mother. Uh, physically, anyway. Oh, no, no. He would just strangle me to death. Oh, That's God. what he said. He wanted to strangle me. Did you me. call your dad? Is Herb on his way over here right now? He, he said he'd get here as soon as he could. Oh, thank heaven for Herb. Yeah, amen. Maybe sanity will finally prevail around here. Cass, why don't you get some ice, all right? What for? It ain't to make margaritas. Just get some ice and we'll ice down your mother's ankle. What's next, Dorian, huh? Fainting spells? You smug, self-satisfied Buchanan. I'm just gonna call the desk. Have you thrown out a No! You want it? Come and get it. Do you want to call security, Dorian? Come on, come on, get it. Unless you really do have a broken ankle. If you think you and your family have suffered until oh, now, what, you hey, just... What did I do that was so terrible, huh? Other than show your daughter who you really are? Here, Mom. You have to keep your ankle cold. Oh, Cassie, you're a dear, but I really just don't... I don't Sit think... still. We don't want the swelling to get any worse. It's funny, it's not even swollen. Surprise, surprise. Excuse me, but I think I'm the only one in this room with a medical degree. And you can ask any doctor that a broken bone doesn't necessarily lead to swelling. I hope that's Dad. Maybe he can make some sense out of this. What happened? Oh, thank goodness you're here. Do you see what this madman has done to me? Ah, I think I let her off easy, Herb. The spy who loves him? Yeah, no, no, let, let me save you a lot of trouble. This is a lot of malicious gossip about Alex and me, courtesy of guess who. It was just my job. I was printing the news. Does that justify attacking me in my own room? No, for the last time, I didn't attack Bo, you. Oh, please. Don't you think you've done enough? Me? She's a one. I hate that article almost as much as you do. But I can't let you browbeat my mother this way. She's right, Bo. It's not your place to browbeat Dorian. Ah. Bless you, Herb. That's my responsibility. What? All the mean, malicious, this one retires the trophy. How could you do this? Oh, fine. Fine, Herb. You take his side. He has broken my ankle. Look at this. Just look. Again. A few words in a newspaper never hurt anyone, and I may never walk again. Oh, God, I don't have to tell you this, Herb. Look, I did not push her down. She either fell down or she took a nosedive on her own. Did you see that? Liar. You're threatening me. Yes, you're right. I am threatening you because I'm going to fight all the lies that you wrote here. I'm going to make you swallow every last one of them. Hear that? You're a witness, Herb. I'm also your ex-husband and your friend, heaven help me. 
And as your attorney, I'm ordering you to retract that article. Never. I do have my journalistic pride. Well, then you'll be needing a new lawyer. All right. All right. I'll print a retraction. Just don't leave me alone. Oh, God. With pleasure. Come on, Herb. Hey, Cass. Listen. I'm really sorry, all right? I did not want to put you in this position. Good night, Bo. Good night. Good night, kid. Don't look at me like that, Cassie. Because I can't bear it when you... Cassie. Oh, Cassie. I'm just rotten to the core. <laughs> Excuse me, ladies, but I've got some good news. No, no, make that great. I just got back from Atlantic City. My favorite town. Sheila. Uh, it's okay, Rika. I'm getting used to your sister's cold shoulder. But I think I have a way to turn up the heat. I just spoke to the judge in charge of your case, and he agrees in six months to wipe your records clean. What? Mr. Nichols, that's wonderful. Now, no, hold on now, Rika. It's conditional. You have to stay out of trouble for six months. Not even so much as a parking ticket. You think you can manage that? I can do that, and Carrie can too, Mr. Nichols. How can I thank you? Oh, well, a hug's a pretty good start. <laughs> Two hugs might be even nicer. Six months from now, we'll not get Rika her scholarship back. It's a nice gesture, but a little too late. I'm sorry, Sheila, but I did my best. It's not your fault, Mr. Nichols. It's mine. It's all mine. Excuse me. Rika, wait, honey, wait. No, you don't. We have to talk. Now. Now, if I remember correctly, you like yours with olives? Do you have any? No, I don't have any. And I gave up drinking martinis, especially with you. Never mix, never worry. That's my motto. Jake, it happened to you. You used to be so unpredictable. Yeah, well, that was then. This is now. Yeah. Living on the edge. That's what you used to call it. Standing up to my father, even if your life depended on it. Swimming all the way to Batterley. You were, you were positively reckless. Now, Megan's got you tamed and toothless. For your information. Oh, but it doesn't matter. A few of these will reminisce. You'll be back to yourself in no time. No, let's forget about this. Megan should be home any minute. Why don't you get the hell out of here? I don't want to have a scene with her. Oh, I'll get it. No, don't touch the phone. Hello? Jake? Hmm. Guess again. Who is this? Megan? Hey. Yeah? Who was that that answered the phone? Oh, Cassie, don't try and make me feel better, because I don't deserve it. You made a mistake, Mom. Everybody does. <laughs> it's very kind of you, Cassie. But what I printed about Bo and Alex was wrong. It was mean and malicious, just as Herb said. It takes a lot of courage to admit that. <laughs> well, thank you for that. I just wish everyone felt the way you do. Oh, Herb was so judgmental, and Bo... Well, all right, everything I printed about him wasn't true, but but the way he harassed me and his reaction was so violent. I thought you said you were sorry. I am from the bottom of my heart. That doesn't excuse what he did to me. Even if you're rotten to the core? Isn't that what you just said? Yes. Well, what I meant was everyone thinks I'm rotten to the core. But, Cassie, I'm just as vulnerable as the next person. I mean, this incident tonight proves that. It proves you have weak ankles. The rest of you is armor plate like always. Well, darling, suddenly you have that edge to your voice, just like your father's. He knows you better than I do. Or at least he knows himself. He's learned to keep you at a distance, whereas I'm still trying to get the hang of it. Cassie, I need you now more than ever. I want to believe that, Mom. I had this silly idea that maybe... The two of us could make a fresh start. 
We can. We will. No, Mom. Tonight's taught me that'll never happen. Don't say that, Cassie. Because anything is possible if you don't leave me. Come on, tear up that return ticket to Europe. Please, look, my ankle, it'll take weeks before it mends. I need you desperately, Cassie. Just because you are the police commissioner does not give you the right to order me around. You want me to arrest you? I will. You wouldn't dare. On what charge? How about aggravated ingratitude? Oh, what kind of crime is that? A big one in my book. I drive all the way down to Atlantic City to get things settled for my son and your sister. And all I get is the back of your hand. Thank you. Better. Let me remind you, Commissioner, that I did not ask for your help. Well, sit, sit down. I'm not going to turn my back on my son, and I cannot change what happened in Atlantic City. No one is asking you to. No, that's just it. You're not asking anything from me. You, you're acting like I'm nothing to you. Okay. Do you want to do something? Let's forget the, the past and the present and change the future before it is too late. What future? The one thing that belongs to Rika and Carrie. Now, your son may not be my favorite person right now, but he deserves a shot at his dreams, and my sister deserves the same thing. So? So, unless we do something to keep them apart, they're going to keep getting closer and closer until they ruin each other's chances for real happiness. Do you want that? Well, Sheila, it doesn't matter what you want or what I want anymore. They've already got one foot in the future. They're in love. Oh, don't say that. Saying it or not saying it won't change it. Rika is too young to even know what love is. Well, maybe she's too young to know what love is. But I'm not. Troy. Sheila. I know how I feel about you. And it is tearing me up inside to have to fight with you like this. I suppose what I'm trying to no, say is I, that... I don't want to hear any more. No, 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 Megan, please, don't hang... Come on. Uh, some things never change. <sighs> Megan is still throwing tantrums while I move in on her man, just like old times. Heron, Heron, it's Jake Harrison. Please, can I speak with Megan? No, I know you have strict instructions not to let me, but I know she's spending the night there, and I have to oh, talk to her. Please, get her. lover's understand. quarrel. My timing couldn't have been any better. Oh, would you just shut up? No, no, Heron, not you, not you. I, um, I'm talking to somebody. Let me speak to, to Tina. Is she there, please? Jake, how about that martini? You look like you could use it. Where'd you put the shaker? Oh, I could put the shaker. Uh, Tina, it's Jake. Listen, I need to speak with Megan, and, and I, I know about the strict instructions, but come on. Do me a favor and please like, just be a friend to me. I, I, who told you that? Vicky? I know all about the cooling off period, but please, I just want to speak to her. Just, just, just please be a friend to me and let me speak to her because I, I don't have... Oh, don't, no, 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 don't hang up on me. Please, Tina, you're my... <sighs> poor, poor Jake. Still having lady troubles. That's because you keep on choosing the wrong lady. You know, you are lucky homicide is still illegal in the state. Otherwise, you'd be in trouble. Now, get get out of my house. Get going. I mean it now. No. The view is much better from here. Charlotte, I'm getting dressed. I'm going straight on over to land fair to spend the night with my fiancé. Got that? Shh, don't talk. It's much more interesting. You think this is funny, don't you? This is a big joke to you, isn't it? I the sight of your body is many things to me, Jake. Funny isn't one of them. You have no idea how much I've missed those peck corals. Well, you, my dear, can kiss these pecks goodbye, sweetheart. Now, come on. You're getting out of here. Laugh at me. What do you think you're I doing, Charlotte? Please, no. This is what we no. should have done a long time ago. <laughs> Megan, don't you look special as always. Uh, uh, Megan, listen, I, I, it's not what it looks like. like. No, listen, sweetheart, please, just give me a chance to explain. Oh, don't bother, I've got eyes, I can see what's going on. I think she's not as dumb as she looks. I had no idea she was coming over here, really, I didn't Well, you certainly her. took advantage of the situation, didn't you? You didn't waste any time, we have a fight, and two hours later you're in bed with this red-headed rabbit. Megan, I've been trying to reach you all night, really, oh, I Oh, I bet. Between martinis? <laughs> Really, I had no idea she was in town. You gotta believe me. Megan, good timing on my part, bad on yours. Pack 
Pack up your cocktail shaker, sweetheart, and get out of my bed. I need you, Cassie. Not a nursemaid. I need my own precious, beautiful daughter. I want to believe that, Mom. You, uh, you don't like me very much, do you? Mom. Oh, I know, I know you love me. But you don't like me. I won't lie to you. I want to like you. But you make it darn difficult sometimes. I know, sweetheart. I know. Well, let me finish. I'm not the naive, small-town girl I was when I left for Europe. I see you pretty much the same as Bo does. And Herb. And everyone else in Landview, I guess. But the bottom line is, you're still my mother. And that's a bond no one can break. Not even you. Are, are you saying what I think you're saying? I don't know. I might be crazy even thinking it. But I'm the one with the conscience of the family. I'll regret it forever if I don't give us another chance. You'll stay. You quit your job and, and settle in with me? Wait a minute. <laughs> there are going to be a few rules here, or it's no deal, okay? Oh, but whatever you say, as long as you're not quitting <laughs> on me. I'll resign from my job in Europe. <laughs> I'll even go get my bags and move in here tonight. Okay. But I'm not going to be your private nurse. And first thing tomorrow morning, I'm going to go look for a job. A job? <laughs> Darling, you are my daughter. What's mine is yours. You don't have to lift a finger the rest of your life. Mother. Oh, well, I said these were my rules. Take them or leave them. All right. You, you want to work. By all means, work. <laughs> Thank you. Now, I'm going to go get my bag, and I want you to stay off that foot until I get back. I'll call Larry Woolock from my room and arrange for you to see him in the morning. Uh, look, darling, you know, I don't think that would be necessary. Mother, mother. All right, we'll play by your rules. But, uh, may I make one request? May I have a hug? I think that's allowed. Go. Oh, Kathy. My beautiful, precious daughter. Oh, what would I do without you? Uh. You don't want to see me. I'm the woman who didn't try hard enough to find your wife, remember? It says so right here in the paper. Listen, I've got some news. Look, I could yell it through the door here, but I don't think that's the best way for you to hear it. Do you? I gave you fair warning. You should avoid me like the plague. You know what you should do? This. Oh, that is not going to change what it says. Look, here's the news. I, I just went to Dorian Lord's suite. I know, the desk clerk told me. You know, I really wanted to go up to that suite and tell that witch exactly what I thought of her article. And I froze. I just couldn't do it. Big brave that they be agent me, right? I was afraid. 
I was afraid that if I went into that room and you were in there, that I wouldn't be able to. God, God, Bo, I just feel so ashamed of myself. No, no, hey, 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 listen, you have nothing to be ashamed of. I know that everything in that article, that's just a crock of bull. Everybody with half a brain knows that. Oh, but it's right there in black and white, though. Everybody believes what they see in print. There's a photograph of you and me and all those lies about it. Okay, listen to me. Listen to me. I got Dorian Lord to promise, in front of witnesses, that she's going to print a retraction. Oh, right. Do you think she will? Uh-huh. You don't think it's just another one of her tricks? No, it better not be, because... Uh, she doesn't only have me to answer to anymore. She's got her daughter, and she's got the mayor of Landview. So, that, you know, by tomorrow, this whole sorry business, it's going to be yesterday's news. Everybody's going to forget about this, Alex. You know what? I don't care what everybody else thinks about me. I don't care what Dorian thinks about me. All I ever seem to really care about is what you think about me. <laughs> it's made you tell me, Bo. No. Now, hey, not for one minute, all right? Not even slightly. It had to. It had to cross your mind just for a second. Did Alex do everything that she could? Did she try really, really hard to fight Sarah? Was she trying to keep me for herself no, somehow? No, no, would you hush? Would you hush? I was with you every step of the way. You remember? I know that you did everything in your power to save Sarah. You almost got yourself killed. I haven't forgotten that. Alex, I never will. Listen, you are a fantastic woman. I have no doubts about you. None at all. I wish there was some way that I could let everybody know exactly how I feel about all this. I do, of course. I should have thought of this a lot sooner. Megan, I thought you would have learned by now, but you're still the same boring nag you always were. Okay, you're okay, okay, no, 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 Charlotte, no, this is my house, okay, and before I kick you out of my house, I want to tell you something, all right? Look, no, 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 listen, I... listen, listen, I never want to hear you call Megan another name, you got that, because she is not a nag, and she is never a her boy, believe me, I would know, and you would never be able to understand a woman like this, because you have nothing in common with her, she is loving, she is honest, she is strong, and those are just the obvious traits that she has, you know what she can really do, she knows how to love somebody, truly love somebody, do you understand, understand what that means, Charlotte, huh? She accepts me for myself, she has the guts to love me for myself, not what I can give her, or who I am, or what I do. Are you implying that I want well, I'm to... I'm implying that you should just shut up for one more second because I've got another thing to tell you. Now, this is from a man's point of view. Once you've known a woman like Megan, you know you could never love another woman. You won't even look at another woman. Now, if you do, it's only to remind yourself of how lucky you are. And that's how I feel. I feel like the luckiest guy on earth because Megan Gordon loves me and she wants to marry me. And I want to marry her. And I want to do the till death do us part, the whole shtick. Amen. Quite a speech, James. Well, I should have said it a long time ago. Of course, if you're still going to go through with those wedding plans, it just confirms what I always thought. Which is? You're not very bright. Oh, is that oh, so? Oh, you know... No, yeah, let me handle this. He was bright enough to beat your father at his own game. That's right. Me, why don't you go off to Carlo and ask him who kept him from devastating our family? It was Jake. You know, Jake Harrison. I don't and let have me to listen tell to you this. something else. He was smart enough to see right through your little blind girl that, huh? Who sent you off to Switzerland? Who stayed here and got love and respect and a family and the whole rest of it? You went off to Switzerland, what did you get? A big fat piece of cheese with holes in it and you're calling him dumb? Jake, you're not gonna let her talk to me like that. Oh, go you ahead, bet. play on his sympathies. I don't blame you, I really don't. Because Jake is the kind of guy who's kind and strong and, and gallant, that's right. Gallant, like Robin Hood or Sir Lancelot, like all those other heroes we used to dream about when we were young girls. Let me tell you something, I've got my Prince Charming, and I'm never gonna let him go. I don't know if you'll still have me. Always. <laughs> if I were diabetic, this would kill me. Not unless I kill you first. Now, time to go. Let's get out of here. Don't you dare manhandle me. That's right, Jake. Don't manhandle okay, her, I'm... okay? Allow me to. Yes, sir. Get <laughs> me. Oh, what are you doing? You this little Stop it. comforter. Stop it. With your cheap perfume. Stop it right now. You know you what? Can't consider this. this. You can't do this to me. Consider 
this a science experiment? Oh, performing reverse metamorphosis. Yes, that's right. I'm taking you from a butterfly back into a cocoon. I always thought you were kind of an insect. Oh, stop Jake, Jake, darling, could you help me out here, please? Oh, nothing would make me happier, stop sweetheart. Oh, I'm going to get you, oh. both of you. No. Oh, oh, I'm the loudest me. caterpillar oh, I've ever heard. You regret yes. you ever met each other. The neighbor. Stop it. Watch your head. Thank you. One more thing. What is it? Remember, friends don't let their friends drive drunk. Sleep tight. Night night. Now you were saying? I was saying how fantastic you are. Oh. I can't let you take me to Megan and Jake's wedding. Why not? What, are you going to tell me you don't have a thing to wear? <laughs> no, I'm, I'm serious, really. I can't let you be seen with me at such an important family occasion. Yeah, but that's the whole reason that I want us to be there together, you on my arm. See, I want the family, I want the whole world to know that I believe you did everything in your power to save Sarah. I want to show everybody that Dorian Lord is nothing but a compulsive liar, and she will do absolutely anything to sell that scandal sheet. to that wedding with you and have everybody see us together. But you see, people are going to believe what they want to believe. Even if Dorian prints a retraction, you see, we make a copy. People are going to believe that garbage. Yeah, but you said yourself that you don't care what other people think. Well, neither do I. Alex, look, I know you pretty well. Sometimes you let your feelings run away with you. Who cares? At least you've got feelings, you know? They're good, honest feelings. It shows you care, and it shows that you're passionate. And that I don't stop to think. Well, there's that, too. Uh, all it is, you wear your heart on your sleeve, mostly. But at least that proves that you've got a heart. That's why I want to take you to the wedding. I want everybody to see that. Who are you calling? Calling the bride and the groom. After I get there okay, uh, which I'm sure I will, the biggest problem you're going to have is deciding what to wear to the wedding. Hello, Jake. Yeah, hey, it's Bo. I hope I didn't catch you at a bad time. Uh, it all depends on how you look at that, huh? Look, buddy, you better save something for the honeymoon. I'll make this, uh, I'll make it quick. Is it okay with you and Megan if I escort Alex to the wedding? <laughs> yeah, it's fine with me. Hold on a second. Is it okay if Bo escorts Alex to the wedding? That is, if we're still having a wedding. Don't you even try and back out. Ace has got a shotgun. <laughs> hey, Bo. It's, it's, it's fine. Uh, the more the merrier, okay? Listen, I'll talk to you later, okay, babe? <laughs> it is, it babe. is babe, isn't it? <laughs> talk to you later, bye. <laughs> Shotgun, huh? Hey, anything it takes. I mean it, what I said to Charlotte. What'd you I'm say? I'm never letting you go. That's funny. That's the same thing I was thinking. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I have to talk to you. I have nothing more to say to you. Maybe not, but I have plenty to say to you, whether you're too scared to hear it or not. I am not afraid of you, Troy. <laughs> Look at you. You're, you're terrified. This whole crisis with Rika's scholarship is just an excuse to push me away. Oh, it? talk about egos. No, no, no. My ego is not the problem. It's a failure of nerve, yours. You know, something is happening between us, Sheila. It's been happening for a long time, and you can't face it. I can face anything except an overbearing, conceited man who thinks he knows everything about me. Thank you. I know what it's like to be afraid of your feelings. And I also know what it's like to run away from them. But I'm not going to run away anymore. And I'm not going to let you push me away. Because I love you. You heard what I said, woman. I love you. I tell you, Alex, the problem's solved. Are you sure Jake and Megan don't mind if I go to the wedding? Mind? Alex, they're thrilled. 
That's wonderful. Okay, so if they think it's okay, and you think it's okay... No, just stop, stop. Maybe just stop okay. putting one toe in the water. Dive in, Alex. You're going to the wedding, okay? That's it. Oh, thank you. Thank you. All right, now the answer to the big question. Question? Yeah. What question? What are you going to wear? Oh, I don't know. It'll be something prim and proper, that's for sure. No, never. I have to. Dory made me out to be some kind of a scarlet woman. No, well, then you just wear red, okay? Just to spite her. <laughs> You're amazing, you know that. You just figuring that out? Yeah, yeah. Really, you're worried about, you know, my reputation and not, not your reputation. I mean, I'm sure that this article hurt you, too. Well, hurts heal fast. I guess it's the Buchanan hide. Anyway, <laughs> no talk about Dorian, no more of that, no more talk about the National Intruder. The rest of the night is for other things. Like what? Well, when you kissed me just now, I noticed that uh, you're kind of tense. See that? Yeah. Look at this. Yeah. Like a pretzel factory there. Can't have that. Maybe it's time for another massage. I kind of thought you'd never ask. I'm in your hands. Well, no, the the, uh, the massage is a, a real good idea, Alex. But I kind of had something else in mind. What? Well, it's it's a warm spring night out there. Um, We've got the rest of the evening, so what do you say? We just, we'll put the top down, and we'll take a ride through the country, okay? Well, well, I, I guess that's okay. No, it'll be great. It'll be great. The wind blowing through our hair. We have old rock and roll, old oldies but goodies just blaring on the radio. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be like we're back in high school. I never liked high school. Well, you, you're going to like it now. Come on. Come on, what do you say? You know best, Bo. Well, most of the time. <laughs> okay. Come on, hurry up, get dressed. I'll be right back. Oh, oh this is sweet. And you, my very beautiful daughter? You make it all the sweeter. You know something? This is a perfect ending to a most imperfect day. my leg and and well it's ever so it's much better I... for you isn't it mom no no sweetheart you don't understand i give you my word your I... word lie to this one lie to that one see how much you can get away with before anyone finds you out no I even your own you. daughter the one you claim to love and need make me feel like a traitor for going back to europe in my own life when the truth of the matter is you don't even really want me here no kathy don't go the game's over mom find someone else to play with kathy please don't leave me kathy Cassie, it's not a game. Cassie, please, it's not a game. It's not a game. Oh. Yeah, the last, the last thing I saw of Charlotte, she was running down the road trying to flag down a car. You gotta get that thing cleaned. Hello. Bed is awfully big for just one person. You know, that's exactly what I was thinking when uh, we were separate and we were elsewhere. I've got a confession to make. It's about Charlotte. I really don't want to hear it. No, it's about us, actually. If I ever have to spend another night here alone without you, I, I'd sooner slip my wrist. Oh, come on, Jake. I'm not worth it. Am I? <laughs> you tell me. I was laying there. Well, you know, it's a beautiful, luxurious mansion, and oh. uh, I was miserable. Good. Hey, did did you happen to speak to Hunter by any chance? Hunter? Why do you bring him up? Be well, it's about the honeymoon. Oh no, the location shoot for Fraternity Row. Yep, budgetary problems supposedly. I guess those guys over there, at Fraternity Row, are bottom liners now. All of a sudden, you know. I hate that. So do I, but. 
Don't give up hope. Just because we lost on our free bee hunting doesn't mean that I'm giving up. Jake, we can't afford to... Don't, no, 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 no. Don't ever say we can't. We can't. I mean, it's, it's this kind of economy, we just have to bargain hunt, you know? And what can we use as a write-off for you? And also, what do actresses always do around spring? They go to L.A. for pilot season. Pilot season, exactly. No, Jake. Yes, yes, yes. I got going us a, to L.A.? You bet. I got us a room at this place called the Chateau uh, Mar... Mar, Mar, Mar I don't know. Chateau Marshmallow. Something like that. Anyway, it's on Sunset, and it's got a view of the city, and it's got a pool and room service, and just in case we get tired of the view, got us a car. Just a little rental car, but a, a classic 1967 convertible Mustang with a stereo that plays nothing but the Beach Boys and occasional good door song, so bring your son back. What do you think? Good enough, huh? Good enough. That is great. I love L.A. Good. And I love you. Good.